Okay. How's it going, everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes, and today, there we go. How's it going, everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes, and uh, I am the campus pastor at a um, at Freedom Campus at Project Connect Online Church. And uh, today we're going to get into the uh, um, noology, which is the study of insects. And we're going to be digging over, um, let's see here, from uh, lecture one, uh, the anatomy of insects and arachnids. And then we're going to be taking a look at non-insect uh, hexapods. Uh, also, we're going to take a look at uh, the order of bristletail to the order of stoneflies. So, I we'll hope that you enjoy this presentation as I am. So, let's get started. One second. Mm. All right. So, lecture one. So this is the uh, the external anatomy of this insect. Now, all insects are very very different, so I had to choose one or the other. So, as you may know, this is a this is a short. Uh, sorry, this is a female short horn horned grasshopper and we see that there is a head from here to here is the thorax and from here to there is the the abdomen and uh, we see this is the, the mouth uh, simple eyes uh, compound eyes antenna um and all these stuff so now we got into the basics of the external anatomy let's get into the internal anatomy of this grasshopper so we see right here this is the heart this right here is the anus this is a female this is a the vagina and this right here is the the ovaries. Then this is, is the uh, the nerve cord. Uh, this is our mandibles. Uh, this is the brain. This is the digestive system. So just a little bit of basics. And let's get into the uh, the arachnids uh, anatomy. Now this is a spider. <clears throat> um, so spiders is pretty interesting because spiders inject their venom into the into the uh, the prey, and and they spit out this uh, stomach acid so that they can so so that the, the prey become so mushy. To the point where the spider is at, the spider is able to suck all the nutrients from that prey. So we see here that the brain is right here. Okay, we see the simple eyes right here. This is a venom gland. Now understand this: all spiders are venomous. However, there are some species that their venom is harmful to human beings, such as the uh, the, the funnel web spider, the black widow spider, the blind recluse spider. Uh, just to name a few, they are their their venom is very harmful towards us. And now all spiders do have venom to inject their prey. Um, so yes, so 
This is the uh, Venom Canal right here. This is right here. This is the esophagus, the fang, uh, digestive corum, sucking stomach, uh, the intestines. This is the heart, the digestive tube. The ovaries, um, the anus, the ovaries, that's all overduck, and all that stuff. And a uh, book, book uh, lung, it's right here that they can breathe. Spiders must to breathe. All right, so enough for the anatomy. Let's go ahead and get get to it. So let's start off with the non-insect hexagon. Uh, sorry, the non-insect uh, he uh, hex hexapods. And we're gonna start with the class of springtails. Springtails are a very pretty interesting uh, uh, hexapod. They only have 30, 32 families and has eight thousand one hundred species. Uh, you can uh, springtails are present in various numbers in grasslands, uh, leaf litters, and 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 you can also find them in soils. The family of water springtails has four species and lives in uh, the northern hemisphere on the surface of freshwater uh, ditches and ponds and canals and bugs. And uh, it grows up to one sixth, sorry, one sixteenth of an inch long. Oops. All right, there, folks. And another family is the family of Gobro uh, Springtail, which has two hundred fifty species. It is found in uh, found worldwide in leaf litters. Fungal fruiting bodies on water surfaces and caves. Next, we have the class of Proteras. Um, it has seven families and it has 760 species. Uh, they found in leaf litters, but most species lives in the soil. And a good example of this is the family of Eosentomods, uh, if I pronounce that right. And uh, it has 300, sorry, yeah, 340 species worldwide found in soil, leaf litter, mosses, uh, humus, and decaying wood. Next, we got the the class of Diplos Diplonus, and uh, it has uh, eight families and nine hundred seventy five species. The family of can you pronounce that <laughs> Jep Jepinus, uh has four hundred. Innate species found in worldwide in soil. Uh, they are blind, soft bodied hexapods, are sometimes called the two tail bristle tails. So, we got a good example of this. So, this is a, uh, a water springtail. See, it's, it's pretty, pretty small. And we have the uh, this one here, and we have this one here. This is pretty interesting. It almost looks like a centipede, but it's not. And it has these two little bristle tails there. All right, let's continue on. So, the order of bristle tails it has two families, and it has 470 species. Uh, bristle tails are wingless insects. Uh, 
The first family is the family of jumping bristletails. It has 333 species. Uh, you can find this worldwide. Yeah, you can find these on under uh, stones or leaf litters or decay vegetation. And fun fact, they li they can live up to four years, which is pretty long because most insects live for about a few weeks or maybe days. Next, we have the order of a uh, silverfish and has uh, six families and it has five that sorry 570 species the first family uh, or the family um, that exists which I can pronounce I can try uh, La Penis uh, Manus which has uh, 295 spe species. Uh, you can find this worldwide. And you can find this in tree canopies, caves, and also you can find these in homes. Because that's why most pest control study these insects to basically exterminate them out of, out of people's homes. And a good example or species example uh, species examples are the gray silverfish, which is the most famous uh, silverfish in the pest control industry. So this is the uh, jumping bristle tail. Looks pretty cool. And this is the gray silver silverfish. See. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Next, we have the order of mayflies. Mayflies has 25 families and it has 3,000 species. Most primitive winged, this is the most primitive winged insects uh, in this world, uh, which we have two. I'm gonna say two uh, main families that you can find. It's got the family of primitive uh, minnow mayflies, which has uh, 126 species. Most in or near, oh sorry, most in or in near running water. You can find uh, the family of common barring uh, mayflies. They have 96 species found in worldwide except Australia. And you can find, I'm sorry, it's in, in on vegetation around fresh water. Now, this is a pretty cool one. This is the, uh, um, the order of Dimsel flies and dragonflies. Now, we've seen. I mean, for me, we see a lot of dragonflies during the summer, especially when it comes to uh, when it's raining or after it rains, there's a puddle. So there, they have uh, 30, 32 families, and it has 5,600 species. The family of, of uh, diners has... 444 species worldwide, and you can find this in near, oh, sorry, in or ne in, uh, in, uh, in, in near still water ponds and swamps. We have the family of narrow winged um, damselflies, it has 1,142 species. You can find this worldwide. And uh, it find, you can find this in ponds, bogs, streams, and brackish water. <gasps> Whoops, what have I done? Okay, I'm probably not going to use the mouse no more.
Okay. Got some water. All right. The family of still wing diesel flies has 100, 152 species found worldwide. It declined this in swampy, pool, uh, swampy uh, pools, lakes, slow flowing streams. Um, next, we have the family of common skippers. It has uh, 986 species. You can find it worldwide. You can find it in forests near slow, slow flowing streams, ponds, and, and bogs. The, uh, the species examples uh, are the tropical rock, uh, rock masters, which are pretty beautiful. We got the giant rock master and the broad wing. Dems of fly. Next, we have the order of crickets and grasshoppers. Now, little side note there. John the Baptist ate locusts in the wilderness. Locusts and honey. And in the Bible, there's a lot of reference to locusts because locusts are a part of the of the order of uh, crickets and grasshoppers and so when God says you know God God was in a swarm of uh, of locusts to eat the crops he means it because locusts love to eat crops and not only that is damaging the agriculture of that time, but it really damages through salvation. Just a little side note there. So <clears throat> it has 40 families and it has 25,000 different species. The family of grasshoppers has 10,500 species. You can find this worldwide on, uh, on ground and vegetation. I've seen a lot of grasshoppers at work lately. Uh, we got family of true cook, family of true crickets has 4,693 species. You can find this on the ground, under rocks, so under stones. Uh, leaf litters and on trees. The family of mole crickets has 105 species found worldwide and uh, it's boring in sand or soil near streams, ponds, and lakes. Next, we got the family of, of uh, cave crickets. This has uh, 594 species found worldwide, found in caves, uh, humid areas, under logs and stones. Next, we have the uh, the family of uh, Katydids. Kate, Kate has 6,728 species. You can find it worldwide. And you can find this mostly tropical regions on um, vegetation. Lastly, for not least, we got the stone flies. Stone flies has 19 families, has 3,000 species. The, the, the family of common stones, uh, stone flies, has 900. 33 species. You can find it worldwide except Australia and uh, is in lakes, rivers, vegetation near running water. And that's it. I think that's all I got for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this presentation as I am. Um, 
Now, I, I would like to say, you know, yes, I should have used more pictures, but I try to. I'm working really hard trying to make this uh, as fun as I can. But, yeah, but I, I praise the Lord for what he has done. And, um, and, you know, and, and I do have a praise report, by the way. Um, so I got to test the, uh, the, uh, ultrasound results and I got some good news and some interesting news. And the good news is that my kidneys are fine. There's no problem with the kidneys. Kidneys are very, very normal. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. No, God answered my prayer. However, the interesting news is that something's wrong with my bladder. Uh, doc, my doctor said that you know, may, there's a thickening of the wall of the bladder. So, it, there, there's uh, two different options I can take. Either one, take the MRI scan and check on my kid. Uh, sorry, check on my bladder to see what's going on and if 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 if, if it there comes you know really abnormal then they may have to you know put a camera through my bladder and see from the inside i, I think I, you know i don't, I don't want to be so graphic y'all you know how it is but so i mean praise the lord you know god is god is so good and uh you know why right now I'm just I'm just relaxing in the Lord and, and just meditating on his word, how good he is. Um so yeah. So that's all I got for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this presentation as I did. Um may God bless you, may God keep you. I'll see you guys again next time.